Basically, before I came out as gay, I was like, I have to be as straight acting as possible. Right? You know that straight acting thing, right? And then as soon as I came out as gay, I was like, oh, I can be myself. And I was like, who am I? And <laughs> so then I went really far the other way and I tried to be camp. And, uh, and I used to like go around with my wrist down. And I know I don't look camp, I just look ill. <laughs> I did that for a while and I got to go to Disneyland for free, so it wasn't all bad. <laughs> but nobody thought I was gay, right? So I started putting my bum out as well. That's my problem. If I was camp, I would just look like a dinosaur. Just walking down the road like that. Oh, there's a sail on. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, just going like that. Like. Stay still. His vision is based on movement. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, cool. <laughs> sorry. How was my flirting? Was that all right? <laughs> <laughs> Can I see your socks? <laughs> I think the reason why I don't blame people in Dubai is because I, you know you can always learn something from somebody that you disagree with. I found that the same year that I was wanking in Dubai, <laughs> I went out for tea with two murderers. Murderers. <laughs> Murders. <laughs> uh, one of them's my mate, by the way. <laughs> my mate Zane, nice guy. Um, oh, you just so you know, it was in self-defense, right? To be fair to Zane. Also, uh, I was friends with Zane before he murdered somebody. I didn't just see somebody getting brutally murdered on the street and I was like, oh, nice one, pal, fancy a pint? <laughs> It was in self-defense, and I've been friends with him ever since I was a kid. And the way that this country works is if you do something bad, you go to jail for a bit, you get let out of jail once you're rehabilitated, and if you don't have any friends when you get back out of jail, you're more likely to re-offend. But loads of guys I went to school with, like really posh fuckwits, right? <laughs> really entitled guys were like, oh no, I can't, you know, they had that posh Glasgow accent. Um, <laughs> You know, you know the one that just sounds like you're trying to yawn, but you can't quite finish it all. <laughs> Scottish posh people I always think are the worst because they're not even nose breathers, not mouth breathers. For some reason, they're teeth breathers. Like... And they were going, uh, I can't be friends with Zane anymore, Larry. I, I know it was in self-defense, but if my employer finds out that I'm friends with a murderer, I'll lose my job. So I can't be friends with Zane anymore because I'll lose my job. And I'm like, somebody's died in this situation and you're somehow making you the victim. <laughs> People need support when they get back out. And the way it happened was Zane was outside of a pub having a cigarette and this guy started attacking him. And when he started attacking Zane, Zane punched him. And when he punched him, it was at the side of the head. So the guy fell to the floor. But you know, if you're in a car accident, the, like, the paramedic would be like, you might seem fine now, but you could have brain damage. Well, that's what happened to the guy, right? He died the next day in hospital. It's a really tragic and regrettable thing that happened. So we went to Starbucks. <laughs> I was the first one to arrive, right? Because Zane only gets one weekend out once a month, right? And I get excited when I'm going to see him. And when I was sat waiting for Zane to arrive, I got a text message from him. It said, hey man, looking forward to seeing you. Is it okay if one of my friends from inside comes along? 
And I thought, well, I can't really say no, because Zane might get a bit defensive. <laughs> So I text them back with, yeah, that sounds great. Looking forward to seeing them too. And Zane texts back with, brilliant. This is Danny's first day out in 10 years. <laughs> so immediately I start Googling on my phone. I start going, what do you have to do to get 10 years in prison? Because <laughs> I'm thinking, I have no idea what this guy's done. Like maybe, because he's got more time than Zane. So maybe he's murdered someone, but he does it on purpose. And I thought 10 years and I thought, oh God, maybe he's a paedophile. Larry Dean goes for a green tea with a pedo. <laughs> That's not a good PR move. I could lose my job over this. <laughs> and murderers or not, it's still a stressful thing. Mixing friends, it's always stressful. You know what I mean? Because we've all been to a stag or a hen do and we've met our friends of our friends. <laughs> And then we'd stop liking that friend. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're different around them. I'm not going to your wedding anymore. I always find, usually you have to do that in relationships, you know, like when you have to meet their, other, their friends and that. Like, because I'm finding that now, because I got in a relationship uh, in, like during COVID, and I met my boyfriend uh, through a friend, um, but it wasn't like in a gay bar or on Grindr. Um, gay bars in Glasgow, though, like, they tend to be more intimidating than in other cities. Like, if you go to a gay bar in Glasgow and you drop your phone, you're just gonna have to kick it home. 